going on everybody this is DK Dynamite and tonight we're going to be talking about all 39 upcoming DLC packs dropping in Black Ops Cold War and Warzone, a surprise event coming and even another interesting discovery, definitely stay tuned but before we jump into that be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and let me know what time zone you guys are in, just curious what time you guys are all tuning into my videos whether you're Pacific, Mountain, Central, Eastern, UK, whatever it may be, feel free to drop that down below in the comments. Now also as a reminder tomorrow is the end of double XP and double weapon XP in both Black Ops Cold War and Warzone as well. Well, so as I've said many times in the past almost every other weekend for this game we were getting a form of XP event whether it's for leveling weapons battle pass another event will probably be at some point around the corner if I had to guess probably around 4th of July so we'll talk more about that in about a minute I'll start off this video with talking about the new game mode Fireteam Satlink and if you guys aren't aware neither Dirty Bomb or Fireteam Hardpoint are available in multiplayer anymore the mosh pit for both of those modes doesn't exist maybe they'll bring that back in season 4 reloaded but right now in the featured playlist we have Fireteam Satlink Link and fire team elimination now i'm happy they kept elimination you know the fire team battle royale mode it just came out a couple of weeks ago so hopefully they keep that in there but i would have to assume that by reload we'll end up getting a mosh pit with elimination dirty bomb and hard points while they'll just keep sat link in the featured playlist not sure why they didn't just move the other fire team mode to the quick play menu but maybe they'll do that at some point in the future this mode is a bit of hit or miss for me i'm a huge fire team fan don't get me wrong and this mode is a bit of a hybrid between dirty bomb and hard point so maybe about six satellites to spawn in around each of the regions your goal is to capture them with your team and after capturing that specific satellite it'll open up you then have to boost the satellite signal by looking for little amplifier boosters that'll be found in loot chests and it's similar to the essence that you grab in dirty bomb where you pick them up and then you go deposit them at the bomb itself but in this mode it's to the satellite and once you do that not only can you boost your signal that way but you then can find a larger battery also in loot chest which once you pick it up it'll kind of be like drop kick where you have the battery in one hand pistol in another and you can't do anything else but Besides, hold the pistol, but if you want to drop it, you can use down on the D-pad, no problem. You don't want to take this battery to a satellite and just hold square to install it. And that'll then double the signal the satellite has, boosting your score. The score limit is 500 points in this mode, which I don't think is enough. It should probably go to 1,000 because I've been in some pretty quick matches here on Fireteam Satlink. And I guess your goal is to capture one satellite, defend it for a bit, move to another one, and capture another. If that's even possible. I mean, by the time you move to another satellite to capture that one, the one you just captured might get taken away from you so it's a bit of an RNG based mode depending on what kind of lobby you're in will the enemies be sweating the objective will they just be camping and sniping I mean it was a bit rough on stream with some of the stream snipers right camping in the forest I mean landing in you non-stop it could be frustrating but that's fire team all together right you never know what you're going to come across in any of these regions but all together it's a fairly creative mode and I'm glad they're incorporating more LTMs to fire team hopefully you see a couple of more in future seasons let me know how you guys feel about this mode down below in the comments now I do want to remind you guys I have a separate video coming out probably the next 12-ish hours tomorrow morning covering the new groundfall event in black ops cold war and warzone which does go away after another four ish days so i'll be posting that video covering all the challenges for the event people out there are still confused on how to beat them or having some trouble so i'll be giving my tips on how to beat everything in that video coming up and also as a reminder too zoo is unfortunately an outbreak exclusive region that is not coming to multiplayer at least not for the foreseeable future maybe that's what they meant a couple of months ago when they said that non-fire team regions would also be coming to zombies at some point so that could be it but i'm hoping something more into outbreak maybe a Along the terms of green run in a future season but for right now zoo is not coming to fire team which is kind of unfortunate it's a fairly large region that could play pretty well with some of these modes especially sat link but maybe at some point in the future will change their mind about that if they had done that with weather station where they just locked it to zombies only and not multiplayer i would have been fine with that because we already have a weather station like area which is crossroads over in combined arms we also have confirmation of a new fearless call duty endowment pack which for whatever reason is dropping for a limited time exclusively in modern warfare and Warzone, which kind of has me scratching my head i'm like wait why not drop this in the current mainstream active call of duty which is black ops cold war maybe these packs sold better in modern warfare as opposed to the new black ops who knows what the deal is but there could be a event planned for modern warfare that we're going to talk about deeper into this video be on the lookout for that but in this pack we have a skin there for i think that's the m4 we have two calling cards a charm watch spray a camo and even an operator skin not too bad and as a reminder 100 of activision's profits with this we donated to the endowment to help veterans find jobs hopefully you guys are interested we also have a fourth of july event seemingly dropping in the next week and a half or two weeks for Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. So a new 4th of July fireworks tracer bundle was found a couple of days ago and posted over on COD Tracker. Thank you to COD Tracker for making this video possible. We have lots of nice images of upcoming bundles that I've talked a bit about in the past. We usually do a video like this at the start of every season talking about all upcoming cosmetic bundles in game. So with this fireworks pack, we have a lifeguard skin for Adler, which looks hilarious. We then have an XM4 skin, MP5, a 1911. We then have a legendary emblem calling 
Dueling Card, Epic Charm, a Shot Up Finishing Move, which is probably going to deal with shooting a firework up somebody's ass. We have a Sparkler Epic Gesture and a Spangled Banner Rare Sticker in here, all for just 2,400 COD points. May consider this one, but like I've said many times in the past, I'm like, holiday theme bundles really aren't my thing because you really only use them for the week that holiday is, and you just stop using it after, you know, a couple of weeks. And it's a bit awkward to use a holiday theme bundle months down the line, but I might consider this one. It's a pretty cool pack. The Allison looks hilarious. I'll be doing a video just about this 4th of July event at some point in the next two weeks. Can't believe we're already that close to 4th of July. I'm like, where did the time go this year? I don't know if it's just doing content creation or if the game's been that good for me. I don't know what the deal is, but time has just flown by way too fast here for 2021. Now, we also have images of a paintball tracer pack dropping at some point in the future, but for whatever reason, it's not listed on COD Tracker's website, at least not that I could find. So I'm assuming this is part of Reloaded. And in about a month's time, close to that update, we'll end up getting an updated article with all the new bundles for Season 4 Reloaded, and this face pack will be in there. But Kot Tracker posted images of these new skins on their Twitter, and I'm assuming this is going to be dropped with the release of Rush, the 6v6 multiplayer map, remastered from Black Ops 2, which is, of course, a paintball-themed map. I'm looking forward to that one, so I would say Reloaded is going to drop in about a month's time. I would say closer to July, what, the 14th, 21st. We'll end up seeing Reloaded at that point, along with the release of Marth or Toten. But if you guys are curious as to what's happening with Season 5, we'll talk more about that in a couple of weeks, but... But as of right now, if there are no delays, the Season 4 Battle Pass will end on August the 11th for a start of Season 5 just a day later on August the 12th. Now, we also got an interesting update regarding Modern Warfare from Dataminer Nanakos, who claimed over on Twitter that Modern Warfare is going to be getting some new playlists at some point this summer. So we have Modern Warfare Classics, Mosh Pit game modes on timeless maps such as Hard Hat, Backlot, Crash, and Vacant, Modern Warfare Season 2 favorites, Play Season 2 fan favorite maps Kandor Hideout and Rust, we then have Modern Warfare Season 4 favorites, no clue on the maps as it's encrypted, and then Rush and Hack 24-7, fan favorite maps Rush and Hack in the Yard all day, every day. So this could be for a free access event for Modern Warfare that could drop at some point this summer, maybe it's that. If not, then my theory is that we're going to be getting an update to Modern Warfare, maybe closer to Season 5 of this game, if not sooner, that might also launch along with Modern Warfare 3 Campaign Remaster. We still have the Soap Bundle, CX-9, the new LMG, which haven't dropped the Modern Warfare yet, so what are they waiting for? It's not going to be for the Modern Warfare sequel, which is over a year away. It's, of course, going to be with Modern Warfare 3 Remastered, which so plays a big role in. So, in terms of when that's happening is unknown. I know Modern Warfare 2 Ghost did claim a little while ago that... Modern Warfare 3 Remaster was planned for quarter two, but that's probably been changed by now. Who knows why? And we do know Days of Summer also hasn't happened yet, which leaked out a couple of weeks ago. That's probably going to be for Season 5 of Black Ops Cold War. And we also have the Vanguard 2021 reveal event over in Warzone. So Season 5 may be a massive season for Call of Duty fans of all the games, right? Not just Black Ops Cold War, but even Modern Warfare, even Modern Warfare 3 Remastered. A lot could be happening on August the 10th going forward. So be looking for some surprise announcements when that season does get marketed. Moving on to the 39 upcoming bundles in Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. We first up have the Art Piece Variety Pack for just 1,000 COD points. We have a skin here for the Krig. Looks pretty cool. We have the Victorian Age Art Collector Emblem, Hollow Point Charm, and an Unveil Sticker. So, a bit of an interesting pack. One of the least expensive ones in here. We then have the Bloodlust Pack for 1,400, coming with five items. A Tiger Skin, a skin there for the AK-47, RPD, a cool-looking Tiger, Tiger, Tiger Trinket Rare Charm, and a Teal Tiger rare sticker. Can't talk today. Not too bad. Not too expensive either. I would then have what's listed as a Covert Ops Pro Pack for 9,999 COD points. Obviously a mistake or a placeholder for now. It comes with six items, but it's for Port Nova. However, there aren't any images of what's in this pack aside from a calling card and an emblem, so I'm assuming this will be updated and filled in within a future update on COD Tracker. We then have a Crackpots Variety Pack for free. It's going to be a free bundle coming with a new arcade game for the Black Ops Holder Retro Menu. Of course, has a place holder unknown item in the listing for it, but I'll put an image on screen of what the game actually is. We then have the Dark and Stormy Variety Pack for 1300 COD points, and comes with a cool skin there, the Stranded. We have a Crimson Sky skin for the Aug. We have a Gloomy Cloud Epic Reticle, Victim Inflicted Finishing Move, Ship in a Bottle Charm, which looks badass, and then an unknown item there at the bottom. So it's unclear when this is going to release, but 
Probably the next three weeks we'll be seeing all these bundles drop at some point here in game. We then have the Dead Man's Rand's Variety Pack for 500 COD points. Only three small items in here. A skin for the DMR, a Epic Charm, and a Rare Sticker. So, a fairly small bundle for this game. Not sure why they're getting smaller and smaller here, but hopefully we get some juicier ones later in the video. We then have the Down Range Variety Pack for 1,000 COD points. Four items in here. We have a skin there on the left, the Commander, the Rollout Calling Card, Wildcat Emblem, and the Fatal Bite Rare Sticker. Another fairly small pack that I'm probably not going to get. And next up, we have the Framework Variety Pack coming with the Nail Gun. Already released with Season 4, and it costs 1,000 COD points. We have a Finishing Move, we have a Gesture, we have an Epic Watch, an Emblem, a Calling Card, and two Tier Skips for the Season 4 Battle Pass. Definitely worth it if you aren't planning on unlocking the Nail Gun for free. It's a nice skin for that one here at the bottom. And next up, we have the Graveyard Watch Variety Pack. So a little spooky vibe here for this bundle. A skin there for a Wolf. We have a PPSH, an Aug, an Epic Charm, an Epic Emblem, and then an Epic Calling Card there, the Midnight Stroll. So... It's a nice theme for the pack, not gonna lie. The skin's pretty nice on both those weapons as well. We then have the Hero Variety Pack, which is gonna be free, and it's gonna come with a Hero Retro game for the Black Ops Cold War Arcade. Got Tracker could have put this at the bottom of the list that isn't included with the other paid bundles, but not too bad. We're still going through it. We then have the Hat Trick Pack, 1500 COD points with 10 items in here, and the Park Sims are gonna love this one. Three different Park skins the Forward, Forward DE, and the Forward FR, along with the skin for the LC10, a Red Card Epic Gesture a reticle emblem and even a calling card there that's all soccer themed so correct me down below have we ever seen a bundle before that came with multiple skins for the same character i don't think so and i can't remember one at all but there we have it and it's for park we then have a lava flow variety pack for 800 cod points and again lava theme there we have a skin there for the ffar a final voyage charm which looks badass a blazing velocity calling card and a burning spirit epic sticker so it's only going to cost what 800 cod points not too bad we have a light show variety pack for 1300 comes with a cool skin there for the ZRG, one here for the KSP, and then we have a Charm Emblem, Calling Card, and Sticker to coincide with that. So, we have the Modern Art Pack for 1100, coming with six items. We have a skin there for the AK-47, we then have a skin for the Magnum, a Charm Emblem, Vehicle Skin, and even a Calling Card on top of that. So, pretty goofy looking pack here, and yeah, fits the Modern Art vibe, right? Not too bad. We then have a Nefarious Tactics Variety Pack for 1800 coming with 9 items. We have a grudge looking skin here, the Havoc, Legendary Operator for Wraith. We then have a skin for the M82, we have one for the KSP, a Finishing Move, Legendary Emblem, we have a Calling Card, Watch, Charm, and even a Sticker in there. So let me know in the comments if you saw a resemblance to the grudge when first looking at this skin. So you could be running into this in either Multiplayer or War zone. We have the Royal Guard Pack for 1200 It's going to come with a skin there for the Krig. We have a Diamati, which looks badass. We have a Watch Calling Card Charm, a Reticle Emblem, and even a Sticker in there. So a decent looking skin for both of those weapons. We have the Short Temper Pack for 800 COD points. Only three items in here. We have a nice looking skin there for the Milano. Pretty different, pretty vibrant. We have a finishing move on a Reticle also dropping with this. Again, an inexpensive pack with not much content in it. So it's kind of one of those filler packs that I'm sure is going to drop very, very soon. We have the Speed Demon Pack for 1300 coming with six items. We have a skin there for us, the AK-47. We have one here for the MP5. We have a nice charm, vehicle skin, emblem, and even a sticker. Another basic looking pack, but the MP5 does look fairly decent here in this bundle. And next up, we have the Stars and Stripe variety pack for 1100 COD points. And it's also somewhat 4th of July themed, but isn't the tracer we talked about earlier in the video. We have a skin here for the DMR, the 1911, the American Spirit Bald Eagle Epic Charm, a monster truck emblem. We have a vehicle skin there and a sticker at the bottom. So we'll probably end up seeing about maybe two to three 4th of July themed packs in the next two weeks to coincide with the holiday, of course. But this isn't the tracer pack that we talked about earlier, as I said. We then have the Summer Fun variety pack of 1400. And we have a skin there for the Bison or the Bullfrog, as I call it. We then have the Street Sweeper, Charm, Emblem, Calling Card, and even a sticker in there. It's probably a bundle that would have fit very well with the launch of Games of Summer or Days of Summer dropping in the next season or two. It dropped in Season 5 for Modern Warfare, of course, so we'll probably be seeing that in late August. We have the Tagger 2 pack for 2400 COD points. A skin I'm looking forward to here for Stitch. A really nice looking outfit. Pretty creepy as well. We then have a skin for the AK-47, the XM4. We have a calling card emblem, unknown base item, a rare sticker, and one tier skip for the Season 4 Battle Pass. And lastly, we have the Workout Plan Variety Pack for 1,700 COD points. Port Nova skin. We then have a skin there for the Groza, M16, Legendary Watch, Finishing Move, Epic Charm, Epic Emblem, and lastly, a calling card in this pack. So if you guys are looking to get in shape, then this pack might be a good fit for you. Not gonna lie. But moving on to Reactive Camels, we then have the 
the circuit board pack, which already did release in Black Ops Cold War and Warzone, a reactive camo for the Groza. Comes with a legendary skin for the M82. We have an emblem, calling card, a charm, and even a sticker, all for 1,600 COD points. But again, it's already come out, but just going over in case you guys missed this one. And we then have the Gilded Age 5 reactive pack, which is going to come for skins for the KSP, FFAR. We then have one for Park. A calling card emblem, we have a charm vehicle skin and an unknown base item that we're going to see in the next few weeks. And this is going to cost a good 2,000 COD points. So we've seen five different Gilded Age packs in-game at this point. Will we end up seeing six, seven, or even eight of them by the time Black Ops Cold War's life cycle is over? We're just going to have to be patient and see what happens. Now moving on to Tracers, we first up have the Blossom Anime Pack for 2,400 COD points, already released in-game. Comes with a skin there, a Petal Pusher for Park. We then have a skin for the Milano, the Groza, two animated calling cards a charm and two tier skips for the Season 4 Battle Pass. These anime packs, without a doubt, have been very successful for Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War, so not surprised at doing more of these. And we next up have the Big Joke 3 Tracer Pack, which is going to go ahead and cost 2,000 COD points, 7 items in here. We have a clown skin there for, I believe, that Sims. Not too sure who that could be yet, but correct me in the comments. We then have a skin there for the MP5, looks awesome, and a skin for the Magnum, along with an unknown base item, a reticle, emblem, and even a vehicle skin. So the other two Big Joke bundles have been bangers so far, so I'm hoping that people like this one just as much. Looking forward to this one at some point very soon. Now, the last Tracer Pack does come with quite a bit of content here. It's the Salah Operator Bundle, so it comes with not only Salah himself, but the Komodo Dragon Finishing Move, and even a pet that follows you in the menu. We then have the Viper Strike for, what is it, the Krig? We then have the Sudden Bite for the Aug, both of which have Tracers. We then have the Emblem, Calling Card, Gesture, Charm, and even a Reticle in there. So it's quite a bit of content. An Operator, some Tracers, and even a Finishing Move pet, all for 2,400 COD points. I was going to buy Salah, not too interested in his character, but the Komodo Dragon alone is definitely worth it. And on top of that, you get some tracers with this as a bit of a bonus. But last and definitely not least, the only Mastercraft you know of so far for Season 4 is the Big Brain Tracer Pack for the LC-10. Comes with a badass looking skin there for the LC. We then have a Neurologist AK-47 skin, along with a Watch Charm Emblem, Calling Card Vehicle Skin, Horn, and a Sticker, all for 2,000 COD points. And as a reminder, more Mastercraft reactives and tracers will release in Season 4. They weren't included in this video, but right now we don't have access to the information about them. I'm assuming in the next month, when Reloader rolls around, the database will be updated for COD Tracker, where they'll be able to see more packs coming to the game that we just don't know about right now. But I want to end this video off with an important point about the bundles. We, of course, had bundles back during Black Ops 2, for example. Personalization packs, which cost real money. You couldn't unlock those for free at all, but people today seem to have a problem with it because of the quote-unquote lack of content for the mode they prefer. Even though today, Call of Duty is much different, where the game is meant to be played as a complete package. They want you to play every mode in the game. Multiplayer zombies in Warzone, not just one. Whereas back then, there may have been quote-unquote more content for the mode of your choice, whether it was multiplayer or zombies. There was no battle royale back then, but Warzone's in the spotlight right now, and a lot of focus is going on to that mode. So, I guess I understand why the complaints exist, but when it comes to bundles, if you're not interested in them, then don't buy them, and don't watch these videos that go over all the bundles themselves because you can argue they aren't content but they're more quote-unquote dlc than actual maps in the game because all the maps are free now they release with free updates every what month ish whenever a major update happens whether it's start of a new season whether it's reloaded so the actual dlc now is the bundles things you actually pay for whereas everything else is just through a free update but that is about it this has been dk dynamite leave all your thoughts down below in the comment section what are your thoughts on the 39 upcoming cosmetic bundles in black ops cold War and warzone how do you feel about fourth July event dropping in presumably two weeks could drop us some other surprises aside from just some skins. And what are your thoughts on Modern Warfare potentially getting a different type of event later this summer with new playlists, maybe a soap bundle to coincide with Modern Warfare 3 Remastered? Leave your thoughts down below. Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everyone.